Hello, this is Aaron from Lo-Fi and DIY, and today I'd like to talk about a uh, new product that I've made. Uh, it is a 110 uh, to Instax Square conversion kit. And on this one, you can see it's on the traditional 110, uh, but it works for the 110A, 110B, 120, and pretty much all of that style of roll film camera. Um, and uh, here it is. I'll just turn it around here for you so you can see it. There's the top of it. Okay. And here's the door. Now the way it's set up is if it's uh, set like this, it ejects straight up which means it's at the, the appropriate orientation for the traditionalist who wants the heavy white border on the bottom. Okay, and you can see it from the bottom here as well. Okay. And if you're not familiar with my backs, they're actually quite easy for the average person to install and they're completely non-destructive. That means I do not alter the camera, anything that we do with the camera can be reversed back to its original condition. So just basically the back side of it comes off by removing the top and the bottom hinge pin. Here you can see the inside of it. It's kind of hard to see, basically. And when you're closing and opening my doors here, it's made really strong, but you, um, you'll want to pull it down like that to close it. Uh, don't just push it shut because that'll snap it or harm it. So you just simply use the spring that it's built in like that. Okay. The viewfinder, uh, when you have, like in this case, you're looking right over the viewfinder here, but uh, the orientation of the viewfinder with 110B and the 110A is over here. And you see I, I left plenty of room for the 110A, both viewfinder windows. Okay. On the front, you will notice that I have a uh, setback. That's a lens stop, and the lens stop is designed so that all you have to do is pinch and connect it to this uh, plastic that I have here. Lift it up and show a little closer. Kind of hard to see there, but uh, maybe if I can get even closer on it. Okay, there we go. So the lens stop is basically stuck on with double-sided tape and uh, makes it easy to install um, and also easy to reverse. With this camera, I've done a couple of little pictures here. And you can see if it will focus at all here. Okay. Oh. Okay. Basically, it is incredibly sharp. Um, I actually, uh, I'm always surprised at how sharp, sharp Instax integral film can be because integral film has the tendency to be a little bit more um, a little less sharp I should say than film that's just direct contact print but um, you can see it gets very sharp here okay same thing here My dogs are rather dark, so those outdoor shots are very contrasty with this. And I took a couple of pictures here in the basement, as you can see. 
and you will notice in this case I took the pictures this is completely without a flash in a basement um, and I just simply opened it wide um, I think it's f4.5 I think um, opened it wide up and um, set it to 30 or actually in this case 25 uh, 25th of second um, and handheld it and uh, you can see how sharp that center um, the center flange is in this picture that's what I was focusing on and how how nicely everything drops away from sharpness from the foreground to the background from that flange it's kind of pretty amazing I think same thing here I did a central flange again if you can imagine Oh, let's wait until it focuses here. There we go. You can imagine how beautiful that fall away would be in portraits or any kinds of other shots. Again, this film is just amazing. Now, this was the ultimate, but it might not even be visible from a distance because I had the um, aperture wide open. That means that you actually get an extremely shallow range of actual focus when you've got the the aperture all the way open like that and here you might be able to see just the keys is what I was focusing on and it really does drop away and get foggy everywhere else but those keys um, yeah I am really enjoying this um, this instant back okay well thank you and uh, please check out my other videos. I do have a video on how to actually install my instant backs. They're pretty much all the same the way I install them. Okay, thank you.